The shirt is dope, manito. Woo! What's going on, everybody? I hope everybody had a great weekend. So today, I just want to talk about different styles of soloing. So on Facebook, there's a very interesting topic that uh, just caught my attention. And it was something that I personally battled with ever since I started playing. Just a little bit about myself. When I first started, I was very technical, all about rudiments, all about how fast I can go and all these drum rolls. And I completely neglected the aspect of feeling. But then as time went on and as I studied, I realized that feeling has a major part in regards to playing and musicianship and being expressive. But then I realized as the more feel I tried to do, the less I was taken away from the technical aspect that I practice so hard. So I had to find like a middle ground. So today what I'm trying to show you guys is what a solo sounds like when it's too technical, when a solo sounds like when it's just really feeling. And please don't think just because it's feeling that you don't have to have speed because Rey Barreto was about feel, Mongo was about feel, and they had speed. So it's not all about that. But again, speed is in everything as well. So just keep that in mind. But then I also want to show you guys how like a hybrid of both, what a technical and like when you put feeling together and how that sounds. And you'll be kind of like surprised how much more, I guess, modern and, and, and vintage it could sound. Like, so you're respecting both aspects of time, you know. So regardless of what it is, drumming has advanced and it's very technical. But we need to always remember that feeling aspect that goes along with it. There's a lot of great players that are technical and about feel, and it's unbelievable, especially in this new generation. You're seeing a lot of that. You're seeing a lot of those hybrid styles and the respect for these players that really, they didn't, they didn't know what a stroke roll was, they don't know what a paradiddle was, but they knew how to solo, man. So yeah, I just wanna uh, show you guys this. The track I'm gonna use today is from Guy Guido Brogle. Um, he's from France. He does great tracks. Basically, he has different volumes where you can actually pick and choose what instruments you'd like. So without the bongos, without the timbales, without the congas, and you could actually practice them. And this is a great tool, great investment to do because you want to be able to be prepared for any gig, for any moment. And he has various like tempos and timings and different styles of montunos. And so it's a great tool, man. So I'm gonna put the his description below so you could contact him if you were interested in getting this as well. But since I got it, I've been using it like crazy. So uh, I do recommend it, man. Um, but the track I'm gonna use today, it's a very slow montuno. I believe it's the best way so you guys can see how much space I'm using, how much I'm using in regards to feeling and what timing I'm, I'm falling in. So, yeah, it's for you guys to judge. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm doing this with a lot of humility. I'm not trying to show off or anything. I just really want you guys to hear and see the difference between a technical player, a player that's all about feeling, and someone that's hybrid of both. I hope you guys enjoy.
All right, y'all. Y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe. See you guys on Thursday.